Artlist has just released their new AI image and video generation tool, and I'm going to find its strengths, its weaknesses, and show you how to use it. Spoiler alert, I've been using it for a while, and it's good. Like, it's, it's really good. It's good enough that I decided to reach out to the company and say, hey, I want to review this product on its own, make a whole video about it to show my viewers that's what we're doing. For those of you who aren't familiar with this site, this is the same Artlist that has music, sound effects, templates, AI voiceover, over stock footage and LUTs. Basically, they've got everything you would ever need to create a video. From the homepage of Artlist, you'll see the AI image and video generation tool over on the left. Clicking that will bring up their UI. This is practically identical to their AI voiceover interface. You enter your prompt at the top, which I'll come back to, and then down below, you can select the style that you want the art to be in. Right now, there's about 20 options here, but I know from talking with them that there's also a lot more on the way, which is cool. So depending upon what you're looking for, you can choose any of these styles or just pick the multi-purpose style if you want to be in full control of how the image looks. Then you go back up to the prompt bar and type in exactly what you want to create. Personally, this is where I struggle most with AI. I just, I feel like I, I don't know how to give good prompts. Maybe most of the time they're just like a little bit too short. I'm not descriptive enough with it. What I was super excited to see is that Artlist actually built in a feature to help people like me write great prompts. Tapping this button on the upper right will actually use AI to enhance your prompt, giving you a much better result. Now, the way that this tool works is it generates a photo and then off of that photo, you can make a video and then enter a whole other prompt to direct the video. I love this system because generating images is much faster and cheaper in terms of credits, which we'll talk about. So it's easier to tweak things with the AI before committing to a video generation. You can also choose different aspect ratios for the photo and even have it create more than one image for you to choose from. Let's just generate something though, because showing's better than telling. A while back, I wrote a script for a movie. Now using AI, I kind of want to bring one of those scenes to life. And there's a particular scene that I'm thinking of where the main character is a young woman. She's leaving home and she has a guitar with her and she's carrying it down the road, kind of walking the center line of the road out in the fields of Ohio. So right off the bat, there's certain styles that just wouldn't make sense for this. I'm not going to use studio portrait. I'm not going to use macro lens. I want something a little bit more like descriptive or more colorful than the storyboard. But I think that there's one down at the bottom that's going to be exactly what I want which is this warm realism. And if I hit explore, you'll see sort of what I'm talking about. It's sort of a dramatic movie type feel. So here's what I mean. I'm not exactly the best uh, prompt writer. Let's use this enhance tool and see if the AI can come up with something better. And yeah, okay, this is a lot more. <laughs> I'm not gonna read the whole thing. You can pause it and read it if you want. I want 16 by nine. Uh, let's have it create two images for me to choose from and We'll hit generate. It's an interesting style. It's very much like I, I was thinking of when I was writing this script. Why don't we turn this into an animation? So immediately, Artlist gives us a suggested prompt. I would never have come up with that myself, I'll tell you that. It's That's really thorough. Let's do 10 seconds long at 1080p resolution, and we'll animate it. Not too bad. What's really impressive to me actually is her hair. It's really sort of a fine detail. I mean, the movement is like, you can tell it's a little bit AI. Again, this is a photo reel render, which AI isn't the strongest at. Let's actually look at another generation I've done here, which is actually just like a little bunny hiking in the mountains. It started off with just this really awesome animated image. And then I decided to make a video out of it. And I just used their automatic prompt for it and it turned out absolutely incredible. And honestly, if you told me that this was a scene from a Hollywood animated family movie, I would not be one bit surprised. In fact, I think that I can create an entire TV worthy ad using only Artlist's AI tools. So if you wanna see me try to do that, leave a comment down below that says do it. And if I get I don't know, like 10 of those comments, then it'll get done. I have found that with this tool, certain styles do perform better than others. I mean, as with anything AI, the less photo real you want something to look, the better your AI image is probably going to turn out. So categories like playful 3D, comic and anime are all gonna look nearly perfect 
while photorealistic, warm realism, and cinematic earth may not have as much of a realistic feel. They might feel a little bit more like AI. For example, I tried to create a scene of an alligator underwater using cinematic earth, and while the nature part looked great, the fish and alligator still had a bit of an animated feel, and some of the fish were more like just shapes. That said, this is by far the most impressive result I've ever seen from an AI video generation tool for something this complex. And when it comes to the cinematic earth style in general, if you don't include animals in it, it is actually insanely impressive. On the technical side, you can currently generate videos up to 1080p and either five or 10 seconds long. Increasing these settings does make the generation cost more credits though, which is a good segue into talking about this credit system. Going back to the image gen page, you'll notice that each style has a different number next to a little sparkle icon. This number indicates the amount of AI credits that will be used to generate the image. Just like Artlist's AI voiceover, every time you use this tool, it actually utilizes a lot of computing power. So to keep their servers operational and stop them from exploding, they limit you to a certain number of credits that you can use to generate AI content. Artlist Max includes 50,000 credits per month automatically, but if you find that you need some more, you can upgrade to 100,000 credits per month or 200,000 credits per month for three or $5 per month respectively. Now, one of the best things about Artlist as a whole is the simplicity of their licensing system. Everything in Artlist Max, including the AI image and video generation tool, is covered under the same license. So you can use it for social media, podcasts, client work, broadcasts, and TV, all without having to worry about copyright claims. Artlist has even more features than this though. I mean, this is just barely scratching the surface. It's just their new thing. So if you want to learn more about them, you should watch this video up over here.